हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एक्स ऑफ एन व्हिच इज गिवन एज अल्फा टू द पावर ऑफ एन यू ऑफ एन समटाइम्स द सेम प्रॉब्लम कैन बी आस्क्ड इन एग्जाम एज ए टू द पावर ऑफ एन यू ऑफ एन in place of alpha they can give ea so solution for both the problems will be same we know that z transform can be given as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n so this is the standard formula for z transform in this formula in place of x of n let us put alpha to the power of n u of n therefore we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity alpha to the power of n u of n into z to the power of minus n we know the representation of u of n we can represent u of n like this so which means u of n will be 1 for n value 0 to infinity so u of n will be equal to 1 for n value ranging from 0 to infinity from minus infinity to 0 it is 0 we can write x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n so from 0 to infinity u of n will be equal to 1 so alpha to the power of n into 1 into z to the power of minus n so we can write this as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n z to the power of minus n now we can write x of z as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha into z to the power of minus 1 whole to the power of n always remember a formula which we call this as infinite sum formula that states that summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n we can write it as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha here magnitude of alpha should be less than 1 using this formula we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse here magnitude of alpha z inverse should be than 1 therefore we can write x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha by z z inverse we can write it as 1 by z if we take lcm we can write this as 1 divided by z minus alpha divided by z therefore we can write x of z is equal to z divided by z minus alpha so this is the z transform of given x of n now let us find region of convergence roc to find region of convergence roc let us consider this condition where magnitude of alpha z inverse is less than 1 magnitude of alpha z inverse is less than 1 so we can write this as magnitude of alpha by z should be less than 1 if we send this z towards right hand side we can write this as magnitude of alpha should be less than magnitude of z 
so we can write this as magnitude of z should be greater than magnitude of alpha so here the region of convergence should be greater than alpha let us take the z plane where in x axis we are having the real term and in y axis we will be having the imaginary term so this is the z plane now let us draw the region of convergence so on this z plane let us mark a point alpha and let us draw the circle with radius alpha so if you observe here the region of convergence is greater than alpha so which means the region of convergence will be outside this circle so this is the region of convergence for the given problem this is about the problem on z transform hope you have understood the topic thank you